Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about light. So light is considered as an indispensable form of energy. And the word indispensable means that the unit through which the light travels uh, doesn't separate from each others. Or that the molecules which form this unit doesn't separate from each other and spread all the way over, but they move in straight lines. Because um, the light actually travels in light beams. And each light beam contains a group of rays. So the light ray is the um, unit of the light. So the rays travel in straight lines. That's why the light is considered as indispensable form of energy. The main source of light on Earth is sun, which emits light and heat that reaches our planet Earth, leading to the presence of life. This planet through the process of photosynthesis, which the plants carry, making the food which the animals and the humans depend on. Light is a wave, but it's considered an electromagnetic wave. This means that it travels in space in a very high speed, which is calculated as 3 times 10 of power, of power 8 meters per second. So, the um, light can travel through space. And on contrary, as a sound wave, for example, the sound wave cannot travel through space. It needs a medium to propagate through, and that's why it's considered mechanical wave and not an electromagnetic wave. There are many forms of light waves, like radio waves, infrared, and X-rays, gamma rays, and all of these are invisible. So, the human can see these. And there are visible rays. The difference between light um, types, or waves, that we have just mentioned, is a difference in their velocity and frequency. So, if we drew a graph beginning uh, from 10 of power 4 and ending with 10 of power 22, for example, and this is not the limit, but uh, we are doing this, so we can find that the uh, visible rays can just resemble this narrow piece. And here we have X-rays and gamma rays. And here we have radio waves, microwaves, and the infrared. 